Hi, you guys. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have... F welcome or welcome back, rather. Today I have five DIYs for you. I'm so excited about these. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started, okay? Um, so these are some of the very first ornaments that I bought from Dollar Tree this year because I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. I wanted to make them into candle toppers. You know how Bath & Body Works has candle toppers where there's a magnet and it sticks to the metal of the candle. Well, I wanted to make these. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get these done. I mean, it's so easy. I literally just take these gorgeous um, Dollar Tree ornaments and I put one of those magnets that I got from Dollar Tree, the wood ones. All I did was tape it. I mean, tape it. All I did was hot glue the magnet to the bottom of the ornament and then you have this gorgeous um, candle topper. I did the same thing with these angels, okay? Which these angels light up. I also got them from Dollar Tree. Oh, sorry guys. I also got them from Dollar Tree. Um, and I do the same thing to them. I take two more of the magnets and I hot glue them on the bottom. I make sure that I leave it to where the light can be turned on. And then I, you know, get them on top of the candles. You guys, these are so easy and so, so cute. I love them so much. Um, I don't, I wish I would have done this in the beginning of the season because, you know, although they are really cute ornaments and angels, so I really can keep them out, I think, through winter. So it's not like I have to put them away anytime soon. But I hope you guys like them. They're so cute. And what a great idea. You know, that's basically you could take any ornament that has a flat bottom and turn it into, a, you know, a gorgeous candle topper. You guys, this video does get better. This angle, rather, it, it fills up here in just a few minutes. I don't know why this, I've got this angle on this one. I hope that you guys are getting ready for the holiday season. I'll tell you what, I am so behind on everything. Oh my gosh, I can... I just cannot get things caught up. I don't know why. Okay, so look, aren't they so cute? Wait till I turn them on. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn them on here. Oh, look at them. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Look, they even change colors. Oh, so, so cute. You guys will have to tell me in the comments down below what you think of them. Okay, so on to DIY number two. Okay, so I have this cross from Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm going to paint it in that Rust-Oleum white. Uh, or let's see, it's Rust-Oleum linen white. Um, you guys know I've been using that with on all my projects lately. So I was supposed to be um, in the five under five challenge and I just couldn't get it done in time. So this is basically what I was working on. So I've actually finished it up so I could get the video out because I had these some of these projects and I didn't want to just, you know, not, you know, get them out. So that's kind of what you're seeing here was the start and then the end of my five under five. Um, okay, so I've got these really beautiful... Um, like, you know, uh, sayings, stickers, basically, from Dollar Tree. And the one I'm putting on there is so beautiful. It says, she who kneels before God can stand before anyone. And you guys, that's it's just so beautiful. I just love that so much. So that's the, that's the one that, you know, I wanted to put on there. Um, I'm not really good at, like, knowing the verse that it comes from, which it's on there, but I, I'm not good at that. I wish that I was. Um, tells you what I should be doing, huh? <laughs> I should be spending a little more time learning. Okay, here is where it got me on the struggle bus. So I've got a down needle from Hobby Lobby. I bought the down needle specifically for, you know, beading garlands. <laughs> well, I could not to save my life, y'all. I could not get any kind of string in it. It just, here's where I'm showing you, it's just not open enough at the top. So <laughs> I finally 
turn the camera off and just struggle with it as long as I possibly can till I finally get the, uh, yeah, I finally get the, the string or the twine, I'm sorry, the twine on it and I go ahead and beat it. Now I'm not going to put a tassel at the end of this because I wanted to make this something I could hang on the door or I could hang on the tree. So here in a minute, you're going to see where I just take it. Yeah. And see how I'm making it with like a hoop on it. I've got these beads from Amazon. Well, the, the Buffalo check and the wood ones, the white ones came from Walmart last year, like in their, you know, packages. Um, I love garlands. I just love them. I could make a garland for, I, I'd have them all over my house. I, I love them so much. I actually do <laughs> have them all over my house. I love them. So then I take some Mod Podge there and I just cover it because I don't want those stickers to fall off because it's just beautiful. And that's basically it, you guys. I hope you like this project. I absolutely love it. It's definitely one of my favorite from the video. Okay, so we're on to DIY number three. Moving right along here, you guys. Okay, so these are one of those um, cutting boards, or um, they call them bread boards from Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm also going to paint it in this Rust-Oleum white. Once I get all the stickers off of it. <laughs> Okay, so now I'll tell you, okay, I went to Graphic Fairies, and you guys, they have the most beautiful um, graphics. I mean, just beautiful for projects. So I went there and downloaded, or download. I printed some um, on cardstock. I printed some on paper. You're going to see them here in just a few minutes, because here basically I'm just taking twine. I wanted it to be well, you know, I wanted it to have something something else on it. So that's why I'm wrapping the twine around it. But then after um, I went downstairs and got on my computer and, you know, looked up these graphics because I wanted something. I actually was looking for a gingerbread recipe to put on here. That's what I wanted to put on this. But I couldn't find one small enough. I could, So I started looking on Graphic Fairies for other things. Look at these vintage Santas. Oh my gosh. And you guys got to go check out Graphic Fairies if you never have. Um, these are free to download and they're just beautiful. Now the red one, it too, I just, all I did was put it on red cardstock to kind of add a little something different to it. The Santas are on regular printer paper. Um, I decide I'm going to go ahead with one of the vintage Santas and I sit and I, what do they say? Fussy cut it. <laughs> That's the term Kathy Joe taught me. From Kathy Joe DIY, she taught me to fussy cut. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to Mod Podge it on. And basically that's it, you guys. This turns out so pretty. And these vintage Santas, as you see, I have all those left. I've got so many ideas for them about what I'm going to do with them. Um, they're just, they're so cute. I think they would look great on bulbs. Um, they would look great in vintage frames. I mean... I'd like to probably print them on some cardstock too, some white cardstock to make them a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, oh, you guys will have to tell me what you think about this. So you guys, I was blessed enough by Melissa from All Things Crafty who promoted my channel on her channel this past Monday. And I want to give her a big thank you for that. I know that I have some subscribers from her channel. Welcome. Um, I'm so excited that you're here. Um, she's fabulous. She's always been very supportive, always answered questions that I've had. Um, she's just a real, you know, down to earth honest, kind, genuine person. And I just wanted to give her a big shout out and a thank you for, um, you know, basically letting people know about my channel. You know, she doesn't have to do that. And it was so kind of her. Um, what a, what an act of kindness. <laughs> I just, thank you, Melissa. Thank you so, so much. Go check her out. You guys, I'll put her description in the bottom. I'm sure, mo I'm sure you all know who she is. I have no doubt. <laughs> okay. We're moving right along to DIY number four. Okay, so I have this bell and this tree from the Dollar Tree. You guys see, everything's from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I love the Dollar Tree, that's for sure. I know we all do. Okay, so I'm going to Mod Podge some scrapbook paper on these. And then I let them dry overnight. And um, I put some Buffalo Check on one. And basically, 
on both of them, a black and white on one and the red on the other. Let them dry overnight. I need a new, I need like one of those finger sanders or, um, or you know, I need something that's, or, or at least a better um, file because this was so hard to file the, you know how you, you go around the edge of it to give it a real clean, crisp cut. Well, whew, did I ever struggle getting that extra off? <laughs> you guys, it was awful. Just awful trying to get it off. I'm using these flimsy, um, files and you're going to see here in a minute, me just struggling. And then when I finally do get it all off, it's not the best looking, but that's okay. You know, crafting is not perfect. You know, you have to embrace the imperfections and move on. <laughs> Here's where I'm struggling. Here's where I'm struggling. I'll tell you. So I hope you guys are ready for Christmas or, you know, or um, whatever it is that you celebrate this holiday season. I know that yesterday, finally, thank goodness, I finished Christmas shopping. I'm so glad to be done. Now I can get back to focusing on, you know, my YouTube channel, working all the overtime that I'm doing. And uh, I don't, at least on my days off, I can actually get something else done besides Christmas shopping. But I love this time of year. I love to give. Um, yeah, it's just so much fun. It, it truly is so much fun to watch people's faces when, you know, you've really picked out something that, that they love and you, that you really thought of them. So I hope you guys are all having, you know, just a great time and, you know, ready to spend time with family. And yeah. So I just wanted to say happy holidays to you all. Okay. So here I am. You guys still struggling, as you can see. <laughs> struggling to get this off. Oh, it was just awful, you guys. I definitely need to get myself one of those finger sanders. <laughs> uh, I had finally had to just take turn the camera off. It was too ugly to watch. You, <laughs> you guys keep watching me do that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a couple stickers from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put them on there. So I put the tree, the gold, uh, the gold star on the, um, on the Christmas tree, and then I just put a Christmas tree on the bell. But then I've got these um, words from that I just got at Hob or Michaels. I'm sorry, Michaels the other day. They were two ninety nine originally, but they were forty percent off, so I got them for a dollar seventy nine. They're twelve of each, so joy, merry Christmas, happy holidays, and peace. And I thought, how cute would these be? You know, to dress these up a little bit. So on the black and white buffalo check Christmas tree, I put joy on there. And then on the bell, I put peace, the silver piece. And you guys, these turned out so, so cute. Yeah. Um, I, I think that they're supposed to be like a sticker, you know, that you peel off the back, but I couldn't figure that out. So I just hot glued that baby right on and it looks absolutely adorable. There it is. It looks so cute. And then there's the piece getting ready to go on. So I would love to hear in the comments, um, just, you know, what you guys are doing. Um, who's ready? Who's not even close to being ready for the holidays, even though that's quickly coming upon us. And what you think of this DIY. Okay, look at that. Isn't it adorable? Those stickers are real super thin, but they are so cute. Okay, we're finally on to the final DIY. DIY number five. Okay, so I took this, um, the tiles. Remember those tiles from Dollar Tree? I think we got them back in the summertime. And um, I've actually already done a couple projects with them. But I take some linen white Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And basically, all I do is just paint it white. That's all I needed to do. Get it painted white. Let it dry. Now, I've got these two stickers, you know, from the Dollar Tree, little mitten stickers. And that's the yarn, too, from the Dollar Tree. How many times am I going to say Dollar Tree in this, <laughs> in this video? Um, and I'm simply going to glue that. It's like that Chanel type. Um, so it's very fluffy and I put it, I want to put it on the edge cause I want it to be like, um, you know, look like fur. Um, so I 
sit here and I paint very slowly because I don't want it to, um, you know, I don't want to get it on the outer edge because I'm going to take some puffy paint and I'm going to outline the outer edge with some white puffy paint so that it kind of really makes the whole um, mitten kind of, you know, pop. So this is an, you know, obviously this has been sped up a couple times and you should have seen how slow I was painting this because I was determined not to let this paint get on the outer edge of these mittens. <laughs> but they turn out so, so cute. I'm so happy that I did this one. I absolutely love this one too. You guys, if you if you tell me in the comments what's your favorite out of today, I'd love to hear. I think if I had to choose, my favorite's probably the candle toppers. And honestly, they were the easiest um, DIY I did this whole video. I mean, so easy. All I did was put some magnets on the bottom of some beautiful ornaments, and <laughs> that was it. But they just really take the whole level of the um, candle up. This one turns out super cute too, though. I really do like it. So here's where I'm taking and I'm putting um, the yarn on there to make it look like fur. Mittens with the fur. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to decide there. Am I going to cut it off on the edge or am I going to wrap it around the side? I do go ahead and decide to cut them off so that way they're just, you know... I don't know why I left every little thing I did on this DIY in here, you guys. I'm so sorry. I definitely should have edited this a little better. Um, sometimes I get to crafting, though, and I just really just get into the crafting spirit, and I, I just craft, and I just, you know, I, I never really know completely what I'm going to do when I sit down. You know, I obviously, um, I craft as I go, you know, and I, and I change things, and I you know, I do this or it's, yeah, my mind doesn't, I don't like, you know, I sit down with a general idea and then I go from there. There, I'm putting the puffy paint around there. So cute. I thought about like crossing the lines because, you know, if you guys have seen those mittens from Dollar Tree stickers, you've seen that they've got little lines on them. And, but I thought, no, I'm so afraid that I would, you know, just make it a big white mess. So I just didn't do that. I left it like that. Okay, so now, while those are drying, I'm going to hot glue the tile back into the frame. So, now I am going to go ahead and hot glue these on here, and then I sit and I let it dry overnight. You know, I just wanted to place them where I wanted them on here, and I've got to let the hot glue dry, or I mean the puffy paint dry, because you know puffy paint takes a little while. And I don't want to take any chances on, you know, hitting it or messing it up. So I do let it dry overnight. And then I come in and I'm like, what am I going to put on this? I thought about putting, um, you know, a decal from my silhouette. And I thought, you know, I think I'll, I've got these little tiny stickers that would be perfect for this. So I put out cold outside, I put snow day, and I thought, you know, there's not much room here. So I went with snow day. These are stickers I got at Hobby Lobby over the summertime on clearance. I think I paid $2 for them. Um, not a lot I can do with them because it's not but one letter. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's, no, it's a couple of the main letters. But anyway, there's not a lot you can do with it because there's, there's not enough letters. So um, I'm not sure what I'll do with the other ones. Uh, I should have brought two packs of them when I bought them on clearance. That would have been smart. But, yeah, so I sit here and I, I hot glue. I take the little sticker off the back because they are stickers. I don't trust that that would hold it. So I do hot go ahead and hot glue them down onto it. And, you guys, this project is done. It's so cute. I love it so much. And I hope you like it, too. snow day
We're getting ready to come up on the final reveal. There it is, you guys. All with all its cuteness. Snow day. <laughs> okay, so here they all are to get all together. If I could speak this morning. All together. Oh, look at that cross, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I think it's my favorite, though. I don't know. I can't pick. I just can't pick. I like them all so much. I'm not sure. Mm. Look at that Santa. You guys got to go check out Graphic Fairies. If you've never checked them out, you have to check them out. It's absolutely awesome. Um, you definitely won't be sorry. There's so many. And they're free printables. Just beautiful free printables on there. Look at how those shine. Aren't they just so, oh, I just love them. They look great on our new Bath and Body Work candles from Candle Day. And look at those angels. Oh, all right, you guys have a blessed week. I'll see you soon. And thanks so much for watching. I so appreciate you from the bottom of my heart.